Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. This article comes to you guys from Fierce Network. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys could check it out. So a lot of people have had questions uh, around Verizon's standalone network. When is it launching? How wide scale is it going to even be without a clear and our low band channel? And soon, very, very soon, we will get updates on the Verizon standalone. It's in testing right now. It's, it's somewhat commercially deployed. So very soon, we will get an, uh, a public update on the uh, Verizon SA launch and, and window and, 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 and when it will launch and everything else. The, uh, the only problem, and I've been told this behind the scenes, it will not launch with VoiceOver NR. And they really don't have a timeline as to when they will include VoiceOver NR. And that is very likely just for the simple fact that they don't right now have, an, have a path to putting a clean NR channel on, on, uh, on NR. They have, to, they have too much traffic today on the LTE network still where they really can't split the bandwidth between NR and LTE. So the, so the reason they moved 850, 850 megahertz, which is a low band channel that Verizon has access to, the reason they moved it back to, to LTE is because, because there was too much congestion on 700. So they alleviated some of that congestion moving 850 back to LTE. So this is going to get very interesting. Verizon is uh, very carefully testing this, uh, making tweaks, optimization. The performance engineers are on the job. They're testing daily. And it's, it's going to be good, right? It's going to be... It's going to be to the Verizon standard. It's going to be reliable just like, you know, the LTE core is today. They're going to make sure that it's the, the DCR, right, the drop, drop call rates, whenever they are able to launch voice over NR, are going to be the same drop call rates as we see on LTE today, which very, very low, right? So Verizon has that figured out, but they want to bring that same quality to 5g they don't want to just rush and, and and i mean they told us that before pu publicly they don't want to rush into anything that they really can't guarantee will perform the same but now it sounds like they are ready to to push at least in the metro areas to push standalone on c-band or n77 which should allow them to aggregate that with millimeter wave where millimeter wave is available and and close enough to the to the uh, n77 site so they can aggregate so that's going to make for some pretty crazy uh performance but um let me know your thoughts let me know if you've maybe experienced sa if you've seen it somewhere recently um it's it's an improvement over nsa but like i said i mean they're going to be forced in some cases to move aws and pcs over to dss to give the uh N77, an additional coverage layer for, for voice over NR and such where they can't move uh, low band or they don't have enough to move. So it's going to be a very interesting situation for Verizon. They will probably be forced in some cases to densify to the extent like T-Mobile did when LTE started when they didn't have low band to make Volte work. And that's in some cases what Verizon will have to resort back to to make voice over NR a great experience for the consumer base. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.